Now the future perfect tense is used to describe actions that will be completed at a certain moment in the future. Let's have a look over here. After one week, Sarah will have written 30 pages for my research work. So, look at the above sentence. It describes an action that will happen in the future. Now how to form future perfect tense? Remember to form a future perfect tense, we use the helping verbs. Will have or shall have plus add to the verb, and. For negative, we add will not have or shall not have. For example. After this party, Ali will have walked over 500 miles. Now the negative version would be. After this party, Ali will not have walked over 500 miles. Also, the interrogative version would be. After this party, will Ali have walked over 500 miles? Note to make this tense if a verb ends with a consonant, vowel, and consonant. Here, we double the last consonant and add ed. Such as. Stop to stopped. Chat to chatted. Also, when the final consonant is W, X, or Y, then you don't have to double the final consonant. Just add ed to the verb. Like, fix to fixed. So to sewed. And if the verb ends with e, just add d to the verb, such as thrive to thrived, or guzzled to guzzled. Also, if the verb ends with a consonant plus y, here we have to cut y and turn it into ied. Like fry to fried, cry to cried. Note that the past participle is formed in different ways for irregular verbs, such as Arise to arisen. No to known. Remember that future perfect tense is also used with time expressions like by the time, before, as soon as, and so on. For example, Hannah will have baked a pastry before her friends arrive. Won't Ali have joined us by Saturday?